Yo, what's good YouTube? I'm back with another video. In this video, I got my second game ever playing this new game mode they added, 3v3 pro -Am. It's pretty much 3v3 park, but instead it's matchmaking, you don't have to wait for a game. I also seen a lot of people were getting a lot of bad progress and rep um, for this, so I wanted to go ahead and try it. I played one game before this, and I'm not gonna lie, I played awful. So, this is the second game playing against a team that's 3-0. You guys see my build here, I'm a slashing playmaker. I'm gonna show you my build in my next video, but I love this build already. You guys will see exactly why in this game right here, I absolutely go off, I dominate it, and it's just so fun to play with, I'm easy to go, I can shoot when I get badges, 100%, I get 15 badges on this build, I'll show you my exact build in my next video. I can finish really well at the rim on this build, I'm able to shoot, I get 15 shooting badges, once I get shooting badges, I'll be able to shoot consistently. My defense is pretty good, the only thing I wish I got more defensive badges, I instead I picked more finishing badges, but... It's all good because I'm sure when I get all my finishing badges, I'll have a lot of fun just dunking in the paint and stuff like that. I've seen a lot of people talking about how much they hate the game, how bad the game is, and this and that. But trust me, I've gotten more badges since after this gameplay. And once you get badges, the game feels a lot better. You're going to be able to do what you want to do on the court. Because when I had bronze quick draw, I wasn't able to get my shot off on time. So that's why you see me shooting off dribble. That was the only way I was able to get a shot off without getting contested. Now I have gold quick draw, and it's much easier to get your shot off without getting contested. Quick draw is 100% the most important shooting badge. Everybody's going to need it this year. Everybody's going to need a gold. You might be able to get away with it with silver if you're a spot up or even a center. But if you're a stretch or a guard, 100% you're going to need gold quick draw. In this game, I was using John Wall's jump shot. I was using Stephen Curry's off dribble. And Curry's off dribble is just much faster. And so I was just shooting off dribbles when I had to shoot. I was just trying to get to the rim as much as possible just because I don't have any shooting badges so obviously it's just easier to get to the paint but since I don't have any shooting badges and my center doesn't have any shooting badges the other team center would just sit in the paint and force us to shoot which isn't a bad idea but it didn't end up working out for them but this year game the gameplay doesn't seem too bad I think it can make a couple improvements um, the dribbling should be like how it was in the demo they changed it up a bit the player movement feels a little slow compared to previous years but other than that, I don't really have a complaint. It seems pretty good for now. But I've only played a couple online games. I've been in my career mainly just trying to get as many badges as I possibly can. Like I said, this game is all about badges. So if you don't have all your badges, you can't really judge it too much. So I'm not going to... Until I have all my badges, I'm not going to judge the game as hard. As my boy Flux Green's a jumper. He's a glass cleaning lockdown. But he has shooting badges, so he's able to shoot. I think it's so important for your center to be able to shoot. I see a lot of people make an inside center. Maybe that's good for the twos, but for threes, I think it helps your, your guard out a lot. If you're able to shoot, just because you're able to pop and you're able to roll, the other team's center can't just sit in the paint or just focus on you. He has to worry about his center too. I just think it's much harder to defend somebody, a center that can pop and roll. I've never enjoyed playing with an inside center since 2K17. I feel like you're you're not, not useless, but like you're just not helping your guard out as much as you could. Not only that, it's just not my play style. Um, if you're inside center, you more than likely want to play with like a sharp, so you, you can just set screens and roll to the paint. I like to drive to the paint, so I can't have a center when Pick sets the screen, he's always rolling to the paint. We're just going to both be in the paint, and then the other team going to be in the paint, so obviously just clogging the paint. But you guys see here, the score is 9-4. to four. We did a really good job on defense of just getting stops and getting out on the break. We didn't really want to be in the half court because it's hard to score. So to make it easier, you just try to get as many stops as you can and just win on defense. If you just get stops and then get on the break, it's much easier to score. And in the half course, I just try to bully my way into the paint like I did right here. I noticed that hop steps this year are really good. They're much better. Last year, everyone did your step just to get by their guy. This year, they're not as good, but I'm sure you still can get them to work. Yeah, see, I'm doing a really good job of defending this kid. Obviously, he might not be the best, but I'm, in general, I'm doing a pretty good job of staying in front of him. I wanted to make a build where I'm able to do almost everything. I'm able to defend, shoot, dribble, and even go to the paint. My defending stats are in the high 70s. There's a 78 steal, 78 uh, lateral quickness, and I get one defensive badge, like I said earlier, that I wish I had made my more defensive badges instead of more flashing badges, but it is what it is. I had a lot of fun playing um, when I played on this build, and, when, and now that I've gotten more badges, it's a lot more fun playing. I'm sure when I get all my badges, it's going to be one of the best point guard builds, if not the best point guard build. But I'm sure there's a lot of other good point guard builds out there that I don't know about. In my next video, I'm going to give you guys everything you guys need to know about this build. The wingspan, the height, the weight, um, the pie chart, all that stuff. I ended up going with slashing takeover though. I'm not sure if I enjoy it. Um, I don't know which uh, takeover is the best. 
but I'm sure if I don't like it, I can go at 95 overall. I heard that you can change your takeover, so I'll probably do that if I don't like it. I seen that play making takeover makes you run extra fast. I think that that might be the best uh, takeover for a guard. I'm not sure though. I would have to play more. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, and I'm out.